Hi, it's Andy from Target Transfers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fuse heat transfers onto 100% polyester. So I'm joined by Tiff from Orders today. Thank you for joining me. So tell me about the top we've got here that we're going to fuse some ultra colour transfers onto. So this is our JC001, so it's probably the most popular item in just cool. So it comes in 50 colours. You've also got a women's fit and a kid's fit. It's your neoteric fabric. So it's got kind of a, that bird's eye feeling onto yeah. it. But you know, it, it doesn't really change there with the printability of it. I think it's still really good. And yeah, it's just ideal for, I mean, we've got troops over in Afghanistan that, that use these because they're, they're just that good at yeah. quick drying and you know, they can print on them, you can embroider them and they're, they're really good. Okay, so let's get this on the press. If you want to do the and thread the top on and we're going to show everyone how easy it is to do this themselves. So we're going to be using ultra colour today because this is the best transfer if you're going to be doing volume. It's got a lower fusing temperature point because it's 120 degrees C because it's a water-based ink so it's great for 100% polyester. So first step, we just always <laughs> pop the release paper on here. Okay. Then we're going to give it a quick pre-press because we want to warm it up, we want to get any moisture out of the garment and we want to get a nice flat surface. So if you want to do the honours and pull it down, it should be nice and easy for you and we're going to fuse it for three seconds. So just fill it clamp into place, and then it's going to pop back up for you when it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you a transfer if you yep. want to do the honours placing it on there. So just this make way? sure it's the other way around. So with, it, with the ultra card, this one is a right reading transfer, so yeah. it means what you see is what you get. Okay. Then we're going to pop the release paper on. Because this is a cold peel transfer, we always use release paper. Because this, with an auto open press, it's going to pop it back up, and if there's no release paper, it's going to try and peel the transfer okay. while it's warm. We don't yeah. want that. So if you want to pull it down again, it's going to go for 12 seconds, and we're going to be doing this at medium pressure. So you can see here it says five. Yeah. Anything between a four and a six is medium pressure. Okay. That's why it's always helpful to have the pressure read out. You get the time and the temperature, and it's really nice and easy. Pops back up. You can get rid of the release paper. Then just gently unthread the top here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this down on the side, let it cool down, and we're back in a sec to peel this. Okay, so we've let this go cold now. So now we're going to peel it cold, and it's going to be one smooth motion. So Tiff, if you want to do the honours, just feel free to just tear this all the way across. And there we go. That's wow. how you get the transfer to stay on there every single time. It's just one smooth motion, and then it'll stay on there forever and ever, 100% polyester with any type of heat transfer onto it. Follow the recipe every time. If you've got a good quality product like this, create a great range to be very attractive to your customers. So thank you very much for joining me, Tip. Now we're gonna show you how to do it wrong. Because we know <laughs> a lot of you are making mistakes and want to show you why you shouldn't make those mistakes. So what we'll do is we'll thread it on the other way. Can I give you that? Give me that. <laughs> we're gonna get the same transfer, just a different color. Doesn't make any difference. To give it a pre-press, that's fine. We'll, give it, we'll do most of the process the same. One of the biggest mistakes people make is around the hot peel. They try and peel this hot when they should be peeling it cold. We'll just pull the press straight down for 12 seconds. So we'll follow the time, but the peel is really important, especially when it comes to sportswear, because sometimes they can retain that heat a little bit longer than the cotton, or they retain it differently. So that's why I always say, follow the recipe, no matter what the product is. So what we'll do, as soon as this comes up, try peeling it. We'll do the same motion if you like. And you can oh, yeah. see, patience is everything. So by waiting that little bit longer for it to go cold, following the recipe as described, you're fine. But if you don't follow the recipe and you try and cheat and try and take a shortcut with your heat printing, that's when mistakes happen. So that's why 120 degrees, medium pressure for 12 seconds with ultra color. And if you let it go cold, it'll be perfect every single time, like we did on the front. So thank you very much for joining me, Tiff. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.